TV. Hey guys, uh, TJ Granny, Rick McGee here. We're bringing you, this episode is for the January 2021. If you've survived 2020, this is the 2020, January 20, and it's survival. I didn't Perfect, even think about Tommy. it. Yeah, it's, uh, so we're super excited about it. Welcome to KOZ TV. Um, there's a couple of things in the curriculum that are going to be new, a theme that runs all through 2021. Um, but the topic for January is survival. survival. And, and that theme that you're going to feel through is do hard things. And this is a great time to step into that because you've got some, some of you have been doing this a little while. You've maybe done survival a couple of times. So, you know, maybe up that ante for those boys to say, let's do something a little higher level, another level of difficulty. And, Get some heard, older boys start that fire without a match. And I heard this uh, saying, and I don't know if it was on the TV show Meat Eater or, or something like that, but uh, it was, there is no such thing as bad weather, just bad clothing. And so I was thinking, oh man, those guys up north, uh, some of you guys, you're going to have snow up to your necks. And, uh, and then there's guys in other places down in Florida or, or South Texas or someplace where they're like, no, it's, it's the what same thing as it was last week. All right. Uh, but really, and we do, we, ch we want you to be, to challenge the boys. And some of you guys have been doing this for years and you're like, oh, survival again. Well, we did the shelters. We did the, but it's good stuff. Um, and maybe you peel off some of the older boys and you do a different level or you invite them in to be the ones that show the younger boys Mm -hmm. what they've learned you kind of have a mentor or something. have a mentor yeah. of your older boys learning that leadership and speaking into the boy because you know those younger boys you don't want to lose what they everybody got and that first time they did survival and learned how to make a shelter and how to build a fire and all that you want to do you don't want to you don't want to miss that for the younger boys but you definitely want to keep cranking the ante up for them. well and one of the things that we did i remember when we trained you at highland heights one of the you know, first five churches ever started. Um, we did survival and we took, I went to the, um, I went to like the Salvation Army or Goodwill and I bought like a shoe and, a, you know, all these different weird things. And then we had um, some string, a can of Vienna sausages and a mm -hmm. couple of fire starters, maybe some matches or something. And we just threw them out in this open area. And we said, okay, boys, Here's the story. You were flying out to see your grandma for Christmas. Your plane just crashed. This is the only stuff you have left, and you're going to need to survive. Make your camp. And, you know, if we had different teams, we'd have, they'd go out, and each guy was like, oh, I want the shoe, or I want the raincoat, or whatever. And, uh, and it was really cool. And then they had to eat, you know, like canned meat product or something, you know, something really you peel the label off of it and write possum on it or something. That'd be even funnier. Right. Uh, but be creative. You guys do some outstanding, crazy, crazy cool stuff. So I want to challenge you in, in staying with that. So, And you'll see that Do Hard Things is a theme that we're bringing back. You know we've talked that. We've said it a thousand. If you've ever been around me, you know that's a, a theme. But it sticks in the boy's head. And we're bringing it back this year. And really pushing in at every, you know, like, you boys learn to do hard things. And just keep that going because we've seen it's really effective. And, man, it'll last for years for those boys. So we're bringing that monthly theme back, do hard things. The other thing is, in January, what is the uh, takeaway that's the challenge? Well, it's in this Proverbs chapter 1. It's a scripture, one, oh. 1 through 4. And, man, what a, what a great line up in alignment with survival because the you need wisdom wisdom and it introduces chapter one verses one through four introduces the book of proverbs and it's a book of wisdom and so uh wise is the man that gets a string to tie his tie his uh shelter together um so it, you could you could beautifully tie together the kids that get the fire started the ones that do a great job with their shelter, uh, just be sure and pay attention and really uh, give them a lot of credit and kudos and, and affirmation when they do a good job. 
And when you get to the scripture, tie that in. Guys, you used a lot of wisdom and and Solomon uh, being the wisest of all in the Old Testament. Just uh, having wisdom matters with, to survive. Well, what is it that he asked for? I mean, he could have had anything and he asked for wisdom. Wisdom. And, you know, why would somebody ask for wisdom when they could have, like, the newest Nintendo 657B8 or whatever, you know? And he was I mean, being promised the riches of the world. He could he have had anything. anything. Yeah. And he chose wisdom, and boy, did that pay off. He ended up getting. He got all that. mine. Yeah. That was. And then some for you. Uh, so the do hard things thing. So we have at the end of after sit spot on the and lunch, you're going to see the DHT challenge do hard thing challenge and that's every month there's a different challenge and so what you'll do is you'll say okay boys here's the dht challenge this one is putting away a shopping cart okay so you think what's that i mean that's no big deal hey it's a big deal it's my pet peeve but it's a big deal so when they're with their mom when they're somewhere they're going to, you know, the challenge is find a shopping cart, go put it in the rack. Take your mom's shopping cart, go put it in the rack. And what we're going to do through this year, there's going to be 12 challenges, one a month. And then next month when they come, they're going to say, you're going to say, hey, who did the challenge this month? And what did you do? There's going to be writing a letter. It's going to be, there's a whole series of do hard things challenges. You're going to challenge them to do it at the end of the month and then come back the next month and answer or, or tell the story of how they did the do hard things challenge. Some of them may seem really simple, but there are things that every boy needs to know, every boy needs to learn. And This is a killer ad, guys. This is oh, a chance man. to add to your, it's more than just the Saturday morning now. It's now speaking into how they do life and you've been able to Hold them accountable or sp add to that conversation. Navigate that it's, thing. And it goes through beyond Saturday morning. Yep. And so, and we already know that. We already know that, you know, teaching a boy to shoot a bow, that he learns to hit the target, so he begins to become confident that he can do things he didn't think he can do. But this is just a, a beautiful thing. I mean, we pray really hard. Last year, what, or 2020, was Fruit of the Spirit. Man. That was a blast. You guys did some incredible teaching with that. This year, God said, I want some basic stuff, some do hard things, some boy stuff, some guy stuff, and, uh, and some life skills. These are life skills. We want them to come away with Jesus and life skills and yes, ma'ams and yes, sirs. And well, you know what? And we all know this. Some of these boys are, are hearing this for the first time, that this is what a guy does. This is what a boy does that's stepping into manhood. So, so don't take it lightly. Do, those of you who are raising your kids and you're kind of assuming and you wonder why other kids don't just get it. Some of them don't get it because they've never been told. And you're getting, to, you're being that person, that guy in this kid's life that's saying, hey, this month, I want you to experience something that maybe you've never experienced before. The affirmation of doing the right thing when a car's out in the middle of the parking lot. Okay, as the man, as you can see, Brother Rick has left the building. He's headed back to Virginia, and we noticed that the end of the video for the January uh, curriculum got cut off when my phone rang. And uh, well, you don't know that, but that's what happened. And so we just wanted to conclude that video with a word of encouragement. You know, what you guys are doing right now, what you've done through 2020, could not be more important the hearts the souls the the longing of the boys just they're not getting around their friends there's so many parts and pieces that places where they're aching and they don't and if they don't have a dad or a man in their life you may be the only guy and so let's start off 2021 in prayer and just really dig in the mission field, what we're doing, what you're doing with these boys couldn't mean or matter any more than it does right now. So let's do 2021 together. Let's rock it out. Let's do hard things. All right, regulators, let's mount up.